Hello, so I'm going to jump on the old current hype train of the Red Hot Chili Peppers new track, Black Summer. I um, thought I'd share my thoughts because uh, well, it's a new track in 16 years that's got the old JF, John Frusciante. Why have I got this album next to me? Because I think it's quite relevant actually. This is the album that got me into the Chili Peppers many, many moons ago as a youngster, like probably millions of others. Um, and as a youth, they were the band, they were the thing, and I kind of, um, you know, followed them for years and years, and um, until Frisante left again. Um, and I'll be honest with you, wasn't really feeling that whole Klinghoffer phase. Not that Josh Klinghoffer isn't a bad guitarist; he's actually an awesome guitarist. He's just not the right fit for the Peppers in my mind, but you know, he was kind of necessary for the band to continue. And he did some good stuff there, you know, some cool bits in some songs, but just not really my thing. But now, Frusciante coming back, um, keen to hear what they sounded like. And so this is the first taste of Chili Peppers with Frusciante back in the mix. And there's obviously a lot of hype around that. Uh, when I heard the track, you could tell straight away it was, you know, musically, it was Frusciante, Flea, Chad, sounded great. Um, and it's, it actually gave me some some Californication vibes musically, which was, you know, it was cool, it was quite nostalgic. Um, and it kind of shows the draw that they have still, um, that people wanted that vibe, because people were posting covers of that 30 second snippet of the intro. <laughs> That's how excited people were. To be honest with you, on first listen, I was a bit like, okay, cool, this is cool. I needed two or three listens to really start to get it. The big thing for me is I'm not keen on the vocal, but whatever, they're musicians, they can do what they want with their music. And if that's the vibe Anthony wants to go with on that track, fair play. Some people like it, some people don't. At the moment, I'm still a bit like, why is he sounding a bit like a pirate? But, you know, but still musically, it gives me that, um, that old school Chili's vibe, which I'm feeling. So looking forward to hearing what the rest of the album brings. The fact there's a few kind of Hendrixy-esque kind of noodling on the guitar. I like the flow that Flea's got on the bass and Chad is just he's just keeping that ride going. That sounds awesome, that just keeping that rhythm going. It hasn't blown me away, but it's, it's cool to hear that vibe that they're coming with and hopefully the rest of the album is gonna be awesome. So yeah, that's my opinion as if that actually means anything, but yeah, let's go Chili Peppers, man. Let's see what the new album brings. Cool. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you thought of the, the album. Um, and if you think there's going to be more kind of sea shanty vibes on it. <laughs> but yeah, take it easy, people.